Hi, this is Jenny from PAC, and this is your functional strength workout. All you'll need for your workout today is a chair, preferably a sturdy chair with no arms, and a therapy band. We'll begin right away with the warm up. Give me a nice strong march. We're going to check in with posture right away. Make sure you bring your chin back slightly so you've got your ears over your shoulders, your shoulders over your ribs, and your ribs over your hips. We're gonna to try to maintain good posture throughout this workout. All right, turn this march into a cross crawl. Touch opposite hand to opposite knee, or reach towards that knee. We're just shifting the body weight side to side, moving through a nice cross lateral movement pattern. It's thought to help kind of help us organize our thoughts using both hemispheres of the brain. It's a nice way to warm up too, through the hips, knees, and lower body for four. All right, let's move to a step tap, lateral step tap side to side, and begin to open and close the arms. Very soft, gentle movement through the shoulders, just waking up through the shoulders. Step touch side to side. Go ahead and switch the cross of the arms each time. So one time the right arm comes over top, the next time the left arm comes over top. Good work. For four. Last one. And take it to a hamstring curl. Shift your body weight side to side. Press the hips forward. Lengthen through the quadricep muscles as you squeeze the heel towards the back side of the body. You're doing great. Go ahead and add a chest press here. Bring a little more awareness and movement to the upper body. You've got eight. Just four. Last one. Good work. Take one big inhale. Reach both arms up, way up. And exhale. Let's do that one more time. Inhale deeply, fill the lungs. Relax the shoulders down the back. Separate your stance. And go ahead and give that wrist on the right side a gentle tug. Little side bend, open up the right side of the body. And then reach back overhead, drop the shoulders down the back. And now left side. And float the arms down. Go ahead and grab your chair, please. We're gonna begin with a really important exercise. It's a squat. It's our sit to stand. Go ahead and sit down. Go ahead and have a seat. Relax your shoulders down your back. And then bring your ankles right underneath your knees. <clears throat> All 10 toes are facing forward. Feel free to use the sides of the chair or your thighs to press and stand tall, squeeze the glutes at the top, press the hips forward, and repeat this action. As you can see, your hips hinge back before the knees bend. Press and stand tall. Keep the chest lifted and the eyes up, the shoulders relaxed. We're gonna add a couple mobility and stretch elements. Go ahead and shoulder check. Look behind that right shoulder. Look behind that left shoulder. Eyes forward, stand tall chest stretch. Let's do that a few more times. Have a seat. Shoulder check right and left. Eyes forward, press through the heels, stand tall. Open up the arms, stretch the chest. Shoulder check right and left. Eyes forward, press through the heels, stand tall, squeeze the glutes. Lift the heart and eyes. We'll do that one more time. Have a seat. Turn the eyes right and left. Eyes forward. Press through the heels. Stand tall. Open up the heart. Lift the eyes. Good work. All right. Make your way to the side of your chair. Bring your right leg in front, left leg in back. We've got a set 
of lunges, lunges, so important, to build single leg strength. So you're gonna bend both knees. You've got your hands, your hand on the back of your chair for a little extra support to help you balance. Slowly lower, press through the front heel to stand tall. Good work. Two more. And last one, please. Step your feet together underneath your hips for a set of heels up, toes up, relax the shoulders down the back. So lift your heels, bend your toes. Working on building strength in the lower legs, checking in with our ankles and feet. So important. Last two. One more and make your way around to the other side of your chair. Now left leg forward, right leg back, set of lunges, lower and lift. Now I'm not here to hold you back today. So if you don't need any support of that chair, then go ahead and maybe bring hands to heart center or reach your arms out to the side, whatever will help you balance today. For three, last one, and step your feet. Once again, underneath your hips, hip distance, 10 toes facing forward, another set of heels up, toes up. You have four more, working through the calves, Last two. Let's hold this one up. Hold this one up. Up on the toes. Way, way up. You ready to take a risk with me? Release the hand from the chair. You want to try reaching one arm up? Maybe reach the other arm up. Find your balance. What about the eyes? Lift the eyes. Oh boy. Eyes forward and lower the heels. Good work. Relax the shoulders down the back. All right, come back to your seated position, please. Relax the shoulders down the back. We're gonna do another set of chair stands, focusing more on power this time. So stand tall. This time, instead of having a seat all the way, we're just going to tap the back side of the body on the chair and then use power, so strength with speed, to come right back up. So separate your feet. Hip distance, I'm gonna bring my hands to heart center, lower my seat down towards the chair. Just tap and then press up, squeeze the glutes. We'll do that eight more times. Here we go. Strength with speed, building power. Good work. Still make sure the hips hinge back first. Knees have to stay behind the toes. You've got as many as three, Two, last one. Good work, all right. One more set of lunges. Right leg forward, left leg back. Relax the shoulders down the back and just graze your fingertips on the back of the chair. We're not giving the chair a death grip. All right, bend both knees, sink into a lunge and stand tall. Keep the chest lifted and the eyes up. We'll slowly, we'll slowly lower into our lunge and then drive through that front heel to lift the body. For three. And last one, here it is. Down and up. Good work. Step the feet under the hips and now this time Turn your heels in and toes out like you're a ballerina. Are you feeling like a ballerina today? Now lift and lower. Heels in, toes out. Lift and lower. Draw the shoulders down the back. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Remember, we're focusing on posture this whole workout. 
for three. And one more, please. Press through the toes and lower. Good work. Make your way around. Other side. Lunge series. Left leg forward, right leg back. Draw the shoulders down the back. Keep the chest lifted and the eyes up. Bend both knees. Stretch your legs. That's all it is. You wouldn't want to overthink it, would we? Inhale down and exhale up. Move with control. Move with precision. There are no jerky, erratic movements in this workout. You're doing wonderful. For three. And last one. Inhale down, exhale up. Bring the feet back under the hips. And once again, relax the shoulders down the back, heels together, toes apart. Begin to lift and lower, lift and lower. Check back in with the position of your head. Draw the chin back slightly so your ears line up over your shoulders, more or less. Keep the chest lifted and the shoulders drawing down the back for two. All right, now here we go. Hold this one up, way up. Shall we take that risk again? Reach one arm up. Reach the other arm up. Hold, hold, hold. Drop the shoulders down. Find your balance. Find your strength and control for three, two. Come on down. Good work. Nicely done. All right. Make your way to a seated position, please. We're going to do some exercises to strengthen the back. Here's your first one. I would start with my hands crossed over my heart. <clears throat> this is a hip hinge. I'll demonstrate a couple from the front and then I'll turn so you can see my profile. Grow tall through the spine. Drop the shoulders down the back. Now, hinging from the hip, not rounding through the upper back, bring the elbows down. Perhaps they even touch the tops of the thighs. Hip hinge, seated. So your spine stays long as you hinge forward from the top of your head all the way down the spine to the hip. If you're feeling pretty good right here, a way to progress this is to bring the fingers behind the base of the skull, keep the elbows open nice and wide. Notice my legs are hip distance, and my toes are facing forward. Let's do that one more time, one more hip hinge. And release, good work. All right, go ahead and grab your band, grab your band. Place your band underneath your right foot. The band should come underneath the insole. Sometimes if it's too high up on the foot, it might kind of snap back. I've had that happen. It's not fun. Relax your shoulders down the back. So I've got the band wrapped around the sole of my right foot. And now I'm gonna row, initiating this exercise by retracting my shoulder blades to move the arms and move the resistance, in this case, my band. Pull back, good work. Exhale as the elbows come behind the body. Two more times. Inhale to release and last one. Good work, one set a row. Done. Lay the band across the tops of the thighs. Let's come back for another set of hip hinge. Remember, hands across the heart, feet, hip distance. We hinge forward, draw in your abdominals, keep the spine long, and lift. Keep going. I'm gonna turn from to the side so you can see my profile. Your other option was to Bring the fingers behind the ears to the base of the skull, but keep the elbows and chest nice and open and wide. Spine stays long. 
all the muscles of the back working here. Two more, please. And last one. Good work. How'd you do? All right. Second set of row. Bring the band underneath the sole of the left foot. Relax the shoulders down the back for a second set of row. One of our really important human movement patterns, the pull. I can think of several times during the day I need to activate my pull pattern at the grocery store with the shopping cart, getting that sticky door open. Keep going. Sit up nice and straight and tall here. Go ahead and bring awareness to the abdominals. Pull the navel in towards the spine for three. Last one, inhale, release, exhale. Good work, all right. Stand tall, stand tall. Bring the band underneath your right foot. Band underneath your right foot. Feet, hip distance, and now the, hand, the band is in both of my hands. Relax your shoulders down the back. We're gonna rotate to the left. We've got some standing core work. Working through some deep abdominal muscles, also the obliques. Good work. So your hips, knees, and toes are mostly staying forward as you rotate above the hips. There's probably a little bit of rotation at the hips. Two more times. Last one. Good work. Release and bring the band into the right hand for an overhead press, single arm overhead press. Now, it is possible that your band is much tighter than the band that I'm using right now. You may find that it's just too much, too much resistance to stretch the band overhead, in which case I hope you're just reaching your arm up and pulling down, reaching your arm up and pulling down. Either way, still getting nice range of motion in the shoulder joint. Two more. And last one, press and release. Good work. All right, place the band underneath your left foot. Place the band underneath your left foot. We're gonna do that rotation towards your right. Exhale as you twist, inhale center. Exhale as you rotate, inhale center. We're striving to keep the hips, knees, and toes facing forward. Make that midsection do the work of rotation as it should. This is a tough one. Once again, if using the band doesn't work for you, set the band down, reach your arms forward and just rotate, just twist. Use your own body weight. Two more times, please. Exhale to twist, inhale, center. Last one. And release, good work. That's tough on the shoulders too. I feel that in the shoulders, feel that through the waist. I like that. All right, again, overhead press, left side, press overhead. Soften through the knees just slightly, feet right under the hips. Lengthen the tailbone down behind you. Draw in the abdominals. Keep the shoulders relaxed. And down for four. Your breath is exhale up. Slowly lower. Last two. And one more. 
good work. Very nicely done. All right, we're going to work through triceps and upper back, and that's it, then it'll be done. We have a little stretch and that's, that's all there is. All right, so bring the band between your thumb and pointer finger, and then I'll show this from the side. Tap your right shoulder. Now, you'll have to sort of judge how much slack you need to create resistance in the triceps. Soften through the knees, lengthen the tailbone, relax the shoulders, grab the band, and then pull straight down. Tricep extension from a standing position, just extend, pull nice and strong, feel the muscle on the back of the arm working. Exhale, then inhale. Good work. This is a great way to work the triceps. For four, last two, and one more please. Awesome job. All right, we'll go right away to the left side. So catch the band between the thumb and pointer finger, bring it to that left shoulder. I'll turn to the side, soften the knees, find your tallest upright postural self and draw down the hand using the strength of the back of the arm. Really squeeze the back of the arm. Make sure the knees are soft. We're not locking through the knees. Continue to find that nice posture. Bring the chin back, ears over shoulders for four. Last two. One more. Good work. All right. Either standing or seated, relax the shoulders down the back and bring the band to the palms. Once again, you'll need to make some adjustments depending on the band you're using today. Find the right amount of resistance for you. Reach the arms forward, drop the shoulders down the back. Go ahead and catch the band, close your hand around the band, and then retract the shoulder blades and bring the band right across the sternum. That's it. Working through the upper back, getting a nice stretch through the chest as well. Right now we're trying to combat that rounded upper back position that our, our lives just create. We sit a lot, we drive a lot, so we have to actively combat that. This is a great exercise to do that with. Four more, please. Here your breath is. Exhale as you pull the band. Inhale as you release. Two. And last one. All right. Wonderful, wonderful work. Very nicely done. Let's stretch from a seated position. Relax the shoulders down the back. Go ahead and bring that right arm across the body. Drop the shoulder down for a stretch of the shoulder. Release this side and switch. Bring that left arm across the body. Drop the shoulder down the back. Release this side. Please drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Lengthen the neck into the upper back. Go ahead and drop the chin and draw a little half circle around. So now the right ear is reaching towards the right shoulder. Let's do that one more time. Circle around. And bring the ears back up over the shoulders. Relax the shoulders down the back. Lengthen your right leg forward. I'm going to have to scoot towards the 
the end of my chair to then reach long through the top of my head and hinge forward probably ever so slightly as we lengthen the right hamstring. Relax the shoulders down the back. It's a pretty sensational stretch. Hamstrings can get quite tight. Quite tight. If you need to back off a little bit, take a breath and then hinge forward once again. Bring your shoulders back up over your hips and switch sides. Left leg forward, right leg back, shoulders draw down the back, lengthen through the spine before we hinge forward. If you'd like, curl the toes up towards the kneecap and feel lengthening now on the left side. Do you find one side is tighter than the other? Yeah, me too. Back off a little bit, take a deep breath, and then again, hinge forward. Drop the shoulders down the back. Step that foot back in. Let's try figure four from a seated position and just creating this shape with the body, just bringing that right ankle over the knee. That might be enough for you today. That's okay. Stay right here. You may even need to hinge back slightly to create a little bit of space. If you're feeling pretty good here, if you'd like to, join me. Lengthen through the spine and again, hinge forward. We just let the belly fall towards the legs. We don't bring the nose down towards the legs. We're keeping length in the spine. Imagine breathing into the area of the body with tightness and actively releasing. Bring your shoulders back up over your hips. Now go ahead and cross, cross like a lady. One knee right on top of the other knee. We're gonna do a seated twist. So if twisting is not right for you, perhaps just twist through the neck rather than twisting the entire spine. Go ahead and inhale, both arms up and over. Exhale, rotate towards your right. And your gaze, your gaze now is past your right shoulder. Unwind, set that foot down. We'll do that on the other side. So cross now your left ankle above your right knee. Relax the shoulders down the back and maybe just stay right here. Maybe even hinge back slightly if needed. If you'd like to join me, inhale, grow a little taller and then hinge forward, perhaps ever so slightly. Go ahead and flex that top foot. Maybe close your eyes and imagine directing your breath to that left hip. And exhale. And again, whether you're a gentleman or a lady, cross like a lady, knee over knee. Inhale, both arms up and over. And now rotate, if twisting is right for you, rotate towards your left, gaze past your left shoulder. Unwind whenever you're ready. Plant your feet underneath your knees. If you're feeling energized and like you want just a little bit more, go ahead and go back to the Pelican Athletic Club uh, YouTube page and click on the 20 minute low impact cardio workout that I have for you. It would make a really nice complement with this workout. Otherwise, join me again for this workout anytime you're looking to build a little bit of functional strength. Thank you so much for being with me today. Let's end with a final deep inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center with gratitude. And I do thank you for joining me today. I'll see you again next time.